What's up, Amy Bando here with the, another video of mine. And that's right. Today, we are going to be setting up our Lux Flight Controller on our QAVR. So, let us open these up. See, we got a nice flight controller. And in this bag, we got, um, our vibration dampeners that we will use later as well as our pins which I won't be using because it's easier just to directly solder everything onto the quad like so and then the way we're gonna be soldering or put solder on our pins is a cool trick that I learned is you can either solder it um like on like this and then put solder on but that's how i'm gonna be doing it like that and then a cool, another trick that i want to do which i'll try out is um putting solder on like this so you can put some you can put your nylon screws in like so, enabling you so then it won't really move that much. It's nice and stable and it's easier to put solder on or you can just do it on the floor. I might do either ways but you can do any way you like. So the flight controller, the other parts that we will need is this servo cable because we will be running express and this little guy will be soldered onto um the flex this what do you call it lux and we are going to be using this fr sky so um i don't i don't think i need to show you how to bind this guy it's pretty easy, but just bind it to your radio and then you're good to go. You want make sure that um, that um, you put the cable in the right way. So it should look like this. So when you put it in the quad, I mean, put it inside the X4R, it's in like this, so. And then it will be attaching in here. And I think, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm gonna attach it, but we'll figure it out. And yeah, so the first step is I'm gonna bind it. You guys, I don't think you need to know. It's pretty easy, all to do is like turn it on, press the button, and then bind it on your radio, and then you're good to go. And then, the next step will be to put solder on all of these pads. So I'll see you guys outside to put solder on the Lux Fly Controller pads. So I'll see you guys outside. All right, so we are outside and sorry that this video came out lately because it was terrible weather. This week it was raining a little, I think, and it was cold. But now, I finally got the chance to get outside. I'm sorry for the background music, because it is windy and there are cars in the background. Anyways, what we're gonna be doing is, there's these two um, board, there's these, there's these two pads right here, SRX and PPM, and five and three. So the ones that I will be soldering will be to, um, bridging the SRX, the middle pad to the X SRX and then the middle pad to the five um, mark. And the reason why I'm doing that is because um, SRX will be for my S bus and five volt and five volts output will be for my FR Sky receiver. So who's gonna be hurt? Going to need to put some solder on. I put solder on, I bridged it, 
nice little bubble. We want to do that for the 5 volts as well. So I bridged it. I'll show it up close later, but I bridged the SRX, the middle pad to the SRX, as well as the 5 volt pad to the SRX. I mean, to the middle pad to the 5 volt pad. So now that's done, we need to put solder on the number two and then the number one, two, three, and four, and as well as the grounds, as well as the RX 5 volt and ground as well. So I'll see you guys once I'm done doing that. I finished soldering everything so you can see that I soldered the SRX and the 5 volt together and then I did the battery and grounds. That will be for um, powering this Luxfly controller. And then I got the ground to RX, 5 volt and ground. And then 4 ground, 3 ground and 1 ground. So those are the things that you need to solder. And since we're already here, I'm going to solder up um, these wires right here and these will plug in to the ground like so so I'm gonna do that as well as the red wire so I'll see you guys once I'm done doing that all right so I finished um, soldering these pins together so dang I got a bug bite and sorry um now we're going to be um, trimming this wire and plugging it in to our power distribution. So I'll see you guys once I do All that. Right, so I got my quad here and we will be soldering onto this auxiliary part too. So you first need to put solder on that. Alright, so I twisted them and then you will have to solder it in like that. So make sure you cross them and have the board like this and then let's put the quad away and put some solder on these wires. And then you're soldering it, you want to have the board upside down and apply solder on the tip. That. So the ground wire will go to the ground wire and the battery wire will go to the positive wire. And then it just attaches in like that. So yeah, you want to do that and this looks like controller will be able to handle the power. So no worries. If you guys are worrying that you might fry the board, you will not fry it. And yeah, so now we are gonna go inside to trim these other wires because I'm getting bitten by like five mosquitoes. I have five bug bites all over my body now, so yeah. I'll see you guys inside. Alright, so we are back inside. I have a ton of bug bites now. Alright, so sorry about that. Um, now, we're going to trim the wires. Before that, we need to put on these rubber grommet things. I don't know what they're called. So first, you want to put the screw through the flight controller and then the grommet or o-ring whatever you, vibration dampener thingy and then you can screw it on don't screw it on all the way I need to get a screwdriver so I got my screwdriver 
and then screw it in. Don't screw it all the way in. I don't even know if I'm screwing it in or not. I'm not, so. But let's see if I can even get this in. There you go. Oh, oops. Tighten it too much. Don't tighten it too much. And then get the other one. Put the other one through. The other one. In. And then start tightening it. Oh yeah, you might set. You might see that um, I put my receiver on, so I um, got my S-Bus receiver, I, X4R receiver. I took it off, um, put the heat, some clear heat shrink on, like that, and then I just put, I double-sided tape it on, and then I put a zip tie on as well, just for extra security, and then I fed the cable through over here, and then these are my three wires down here. So yeah, that's all I did. Make sure you put the heat shrink so it's nice and light. And I also shrunk these e my ESCs down. I just tested using um, I tested it using my receiver. So I also bound it using that. I used a separate power source from ESC and a battery. So I did that, and then I also checked the direction, and all of them were the right directions. And then I go went ahead and um shrunk my ESCs so that's the only thing that's different that you might haven't seen in the past section of the video so screw that in and then the last one in as well now those rubber grommets, as I said earlier, are a great vibration dampener. So make sure you tighten them. Just finger tight. Don't use all your might because these are just nylon screws. Alright, so I tightened the screws in and make sure the board is level. If you see that it's um, one is more tightened like this one, then go ahead and loosen it. So just check it because you might have over tightened the screws. And the vibration dampener wouldn't be in good use if you do that. So just tighten it a little and it will do good for you. So yeah. I did that for my flight controller and now we are going to trim these wires off. So yeah, I'll see you guys once I'm done doing that. Alright, so I apparently stripped one of these wires off so I went and I went over and I had um uh what do you call it take these screws off to solder it back on and if you do that it's a bit easier to put your to solder on your um your wires together so you can put these screws on later on in the build. So now I'm gonna continue and trimming off these wires. Alright, so I'm done fitting all of my wires so now we are going to go 
outside to solder these wires on. So yeah, I'll see you guys outside. All right, so we are outside. It's sprinkling a little, but you want to have a clean tip. So go ahead and turn it a little. Like that. Some solder. And then apply some solder onto your wires. So. So I'm done soldering, and as you can see, I got my ground wires, the black wire, and then the two wire, which is the signal wire, and then the, my RX wire goes to the signal wire to my receiver, and five volt is my red wire to the receiver, and the ground is the black one to the receiver, all for S bus, and then four is sig is white and black is ground and same for these numbers so make sure you check the wires and now we can go inside to put on the screws so i'll see you guys inside all right so i am back inside and i finished soldering up all of my <laughs> pins into my flight controller and now we are going to be attaching these screws in as well as using these o-rings as my vape as a vibration dampener. So I'll see you guys once I'm done doing that. All right, so I'm done screwing on these um, these screws on. And sorry for my crazy. It's okay, it's okay. Shut up, oh my God. Okay, sorry. cut. All right. All right, so I'm done putting my screws on as well as putting my vibration dampeners on. So, yeah. Uh, make sure to subscribe because my next video will be on programming this nice little Lux Fly controller. And, yeah, and then make sure you check my other videos of the QIVR build series. And I'll see you guys later. Shout out Peace. to my sister. No, don't look at her. Yay. Don't look. <laughs> What up, bro? Oh my god, can you stop? I was quiet until the end. <laughs> Alright, take two. Uh, shut up! Alright, so I'm done. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Alright. Okay, I'm quiet! <laughs> Go away. Hello, friends. Stop. Alright, so I'm done putting on my screws on as well as doing my vibration dampeners. And I've soldered all of my pins to my Lux Fly Controller as well as my power as well as my power wires and yeah make sure you subscribe to see the next video which will be on um, programming this Lux Fly controller and make sure you also check out my other videos of the QAVR 5 inch edition build series so yeah I'll see you guys later and peace out